Welcome to our today's webcast for CRM project, the feature highlights of Rollup 17. For today, I have picked out some of the um, best features that we are um, created within Rollup 17. And I want to show you uh, these features within the system and guide you through these new um, functions that you can use from now on within Rollup 17 and all further upcoming Rollups. So first of all, um, the uh, first general uh, thing that we added to Rollup 17 that we improved all form customizations so that we are um, even uh, closer to the current CRM 2015 and 2013 behaviors of forms. So let's have a look for these uh, features here. So I'm going to one of the list here. So let's start with the project um, uh, function, uh, project module. Um, here we are within the list of projects. So we open one of the um, forms for project management. So we have here a new form um, called now project. So similar to all the other new forms of dynamic CRM. And as you can see, it goes um, completely along the a new way how Microsoft um, handles the form. So you have a, a quick um, information on the left side. You have all the activities pane in the middle and you have some uh, related uh, information like the orders of this project and timesheets um, on the right side. Um, if you scroll further down, so we added all the other things, um, uh, details into the detail section here, like the work breakdown structure, like other details of this project, work and duration, budget and costs, and so on. So um, this is uh, one form for the project management. It is the same for all the other um, areas, like for example, travel management. So there, if we pick here a travel, um, we see here it goes uh, the same direction. So we see here um, the um, travel information. We see here the activities. We see here some additional information like costs, um, billable amounts, and so on. Yeah, and um, uh, we uh, further down we see here for example related receipts. If we look in the, uh, at another area like for example receipts, um, we see the same thing. Um, for example, if we go here for Let's go for these expenses here. Um, you see in the receipt, we uh, see here in the summary, we see the title and so on, all the head information. We, in the middle, we see again the activities pane. On the right side, we see costs and billing and so on. And as a last example, we go to the uh, leave request, for example, and pick here this leave request. And we see here uh, we um, have added the activities pane in the middle again. Uh, the main information about the leaf are here. And we see here the um, process of the leaf approval is even uh, better visualized as a business process flow here in the absence management. Okay. Next part, um, or general feature of the Rollup 17 is editable gold bright grids. So you all were waiting for gold bright grids. We made a pre-release in Rollup 16 already. Now gold bright is uh, available for grids completely. So this means you have editable grids wherever you like to have them. Um, you have them on a flat list uh, view or on hierarchical hierarchical lists, um, and they are completely customizable. And you can can add them at any point within CRM as long as you are a valid uh, XRM1 business solutions user. So we have started adding them, uh, edit uh, to, to add the um, grids at some points within the solution. So let's have a look where we added them. So first important thing, um, the grid is for sure available as a work breakdown structure within the project. So here we um, added this directly on the new project form. So if you go down a little bit here and you go to the work breakdown structure, um, so here you just expand it and then you see the work breakdown structure as gold bright grid. 
As you can see here, you have um, some functions like outline. You can just show all the levels which are available with one click or um, collapse. So this is pretty nice because it's very fast. And um, you see this is a hierarchical grid view. So you can even sort here, um, for example, like end projected. Then it's sorting always within a level. Um, you can sort on all columns and it always sorts within a level because it's a hierarchical view. And um, the, we can have this inline editing function just with clicking edit. And then you can start right away editing this uh, content here. For example, if you want to take change this here, it's not a phase, it's a sub project, then just change it. And for example, we want to have uh, another date here. You can just easily change it with this um, date selection here um, or um, whatever you want to change here. And the cool thing is this is completely um, taking all the information out of the metadata. So whatever field is readable or only uh, or writable, this is taken out of the form that the current user is using. So if you open this record on your form and you see there are some fields with a lock, so you cannot write on these, you will get the same information here in the grid. So it's completely taking all the customizations that you already made of your system in consideration. And if you're finished with your changes, you can either just click save or cancel and the information is written back to the system. It was pretty fast as you've seen and it refreshed the whole screen. So now uh, this has changed to subproject. So this is the first place where we added the, um, the first gold bright grid um, within our solution. Again, this is completely customizable. If you want to change these columns here, you are free to do this. And it's completely multi-language uh, um, compatible too. So it just takes all the language out of the metadata. If we look at um, the next feature in our um, uh, Rollup 17 feature highlights table, uh, we see that the gold break, uh, the work breakdown structure was added, for example, um, uh, on the direct overview um, of the project structure and um, it's added to the um, dashboards and reports. For example, we thought it might make sense that uh, a project manager can very easily approve his um, effort to complete requests of this um, project participants. So therefore, we went to the project manager dashboard and added the gold bright grid just here in the project manager dashboard. So here in the effort to complete section now, you can simply see which um, project parts um, of team members were uh, reported with a different effort to complete. So here we see in this case, um, Paul Morrison reported for I1 CRM phase concept, original planned eight mandates. Now he, Paul says he will need 9.125 mandates. Actually he's on 4.125 mandates. And if you now want to handle this effort to complete request, you simply go here to edit and then you can say, okay, I want to reject this this or I want to accept this. And um, uh, depending on your workflows in the background, what you um, set there, um, it now informs the user or whatever. Uh, so we now accept this um, effort and click save and it's just um, saved back and uh, the process works in the background. So um, I think this is a pretty cool feature to, to help project managers complete their work very fast and very efficient. Another um, idea where we just directly added the um, new um, gold bright uh, functionality is in the expense section. So here we added a new feature um, specifically for uh, German customers. Uh, there we had oftentimes the request to um, enable an automated calculation for meal allowance. So the um, per diem rates, uh, which is available for meal allowance. And um, so we added there a specific feature for German customers, which uh, have this request. And we enhanced this feature directly by the gold bright grid. So let's have a look at this feature. So first of all, um, we uh, 
enabled the customers that want to do something like this that they directly get all the data from us too. So therefore we created a new um, entity called uh, Reiseziele. So this is um, the uh, destinations that are maintained by the financial authorities. And so we um, provide our customers with a dedicated import list where you get all the day rates um, directly from the financial authorities with a, a validity date and all the dates, uh, all the rates which are um, uh, regular or available there. So and um, so this is coming from us. Uh, you can just import it. And on the other side, you find these uh, rates within the section of the receipts. So if we go to the receipts and there we have a demo for meal allowances created in advance. And here you see now that there is a new section uh, extended at the bottom, uh, the expense calculator. And this expense calculator um, automatically calculates um, out of the travel start and travel end and the travel destination all the uh, meal allowances that you get in this time. So for example, here's your first day, it's only 17 hours. So you get there a different rate than on a full day. And um, so now you can easily say, okay, um, when did I had an, um, uh, an um, dinner included here, for example, and here on these days I had a breakfast and on the last day I was traveling directly and then we just say save and then it calculates everything back and gives us all the um, updated values on our grid here. And um, we can just refresh the page here and see, okay, now the net amount that we get um, as a reimbursement for this travel will be 72 euro and the details are down here. I can add a comment here too. So for example, um, I want to sell, say, tell our financial department right away, um, no breakfast um, directly went to customer. So save this here um, so that um, I don't get a request from the financial department uh, why I hadn't, haven't had a breakfast on the last day. So I guess this is again a cool and uh, very nice approach for editing um, lines on a um, grid um, with our Goldbright um, feature. And again, this is completely customizable. And here you see all the locks appear because on the form I cannot edit these rows, uh, these columns too. Uh, these fields are only editable uh, by the logic, so I can only edit the fields which are allowed to me. Um, and uh, this is uh, very easy to maintain as it's done by form customizations. Good, so um, these are um, all the um, great new ideas where we added the Goldbright um, grid. So um, feel free to use Goldbright wherever you like um, uh, within the um, uh, solutions um, or with, uh, outside of the solutions. Again, you just have to be a valid XRM1 user to use it. Okay, so two other features uh, which I want to show you today are the uh, rapid time entry. Um, in the rapid time entry, we added two um, uh, new features. One is the quick edit. Um, so I show you this right now. So here we are within the gold bright, uh, within the employee cockpit um, for rapid time entry. And uh, if we just go back for last week, we see here there are two new entries. And uh, for example, if you want to add now some content to this um, entry here on Friday, then in the uh, last version of Rollup 16, you had to open the um, entry as a new window and made the changes there. So now you can simply click here on this pen and then all the fields that you want to have directly as edit function um, appear here in this quick edit window. Uh, these uh, fields that are appearing here are completely customizable for you. So you just um, modify the safe query. Um, please take all the details out of our configuration guide. And then you can um, bring here more fields or less fields. You can easily edit this, for example, reason, um, um, uh, more complicated than thought. And we want to have additional 
uh, effort to complete and we just save this back and it's done yeah so uh, it's very fast um, rapid time entry uh, again one step more to rapid um, and the uh, um, the user just stays in this ui and doesn't need to open a second window or something like this yeah the second feature that we added to the rapid time entry within our um, rollup 17 and the last feature that i want to show to show you today for the cm project features is the last week default so um, some customers told us that they um, like the rapid time entry and they liked using it but uh, if they um, start a new week they get a complete blank screen and they have to add it at all the projects um, that they have been working on from the last week again so um, we um, are listening to our customers and we solved this just by making here this checkbox so now you can add show previous week items and then you simply get all the um, items that you have been working on the last week but without any entries here so you can just now start working on these items in the current week and you don't need to um, bring them all new um, uh, row by row into this uh, grid here i guess this is a pretty cool feature which again makes you more fast in entering your times on a daily basis and saves time on adding a new rows and uh, you still have all the flexibility if you have uh, another item that you want to add here you simply click on plus and select the uh, according record So this is it from my side. Thank you very much for attending our webcast for CRM Project Rollup 17 feature highlights. Um, hope you stay in by and uh, watch our upcoming videos too. So have a nice day. Bye bye.